Breaking news. Federal government finally find out, recognizes the power of Mazikano, says some countries have been working with Unamdikano. Welcome to today's news. Please do well to listen to the end. The federal government has alleged that some countries are heading and abetting Unamdikano, the detained leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop. During a press briefing in Abuja on Friday, October 22, Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, San, said some state actors aided Kanu after he fled Nigeria in 2017. Kanu was rearrested in June of 2021. We have also established that Kanu is not alone in his subversive activities. He has accomplices, accomplices in Nigeria and abroad individuals and groups as well as states and non-state actors who are heading and facilitating his campaign against the people and state of Nigeria, Malami said. Some of the state actors aided Kanu even as a fugitive in a destructive mission, ignoring the terrorist nature of his activities. We call on those countries to desist from aiding subversive acts by Kanu and Hypope against the state of Nigeria and its people. Conversely, there are some friendly countries which, recognizing the status of IPOP as a terrorist organization, have either banned the activities of IPOP or placed Kenu on stop list. To, this peop- to those peace-loving countries that have put Kenu on their stop list and banned IPOP from operating in their territories, we express our appreciation, Malami said. Kanu reappeared in court on October 21. He pleaded not guilty to all charges preferred against him and remains in the custody of the Department of State Services. Unabdi Kanu, the high power leader, the federal government is saying that they have recognized the power of Mazi Kanu, that some countries are behind Unabdi Kanu, some countries are the ones supporting Unam de Kano. They are the ones bringing in ammunition, firearms, financing him on the IPOP agitation. Federal government is saying we already know that these are the people that are at your back, but they did not mention those countries. Although there are some countries that have Recognize the status of IPOP as a terrorist organization. I've either banned the activities of IPOP or placed Kanu on the stop list, not allowing IPOP to come into their territories, not allowing them to carry on whatever they want to do in their territories. They've banned the territory once and for all. The federal government, who knows about Unam de Kanu's? Unam de Kanu. Unam de Kanu flee out of, Ni- out of Nigeria after it was granted bill in 2017. And it was rearrested in 2021 because it jumped, bill. It jumped the bill in 2017. It was re- rearrested and has been in the detention of the state services, of the Department of State Services, DSS, ever since then. Unam de Kanu who has a lot of supporters, a lot of financiers. He has a lot of youths that are at his back, that they love him. They're happy for the agitation that he's bringing up. Unam Dikanu is loved by the youths of the southeastern part of Nigeria. Although Hypop has been tagged a terrorist group because they are involved in terrorism, they are involved in treasonable felony that is going on in the southeastern part of Nigeria. The, south, the IPOP members in the southeast have caused a lot of killings. They have destabilized the country by killing a lot of security operatives, a lot of burning down a lot of security operative vehicles. 
doing a lot of atrocities, burning down properties, both public and private, killings, even to the extent of scattering election campaign in a number state. states. Although, when it was up for his trial, October 21, 2021, it was seen in the courts, Helen Erde, but the courts adjourned his case again. We don't know why. It was adjourned to November. The federal government and the court are confused on what to take, on the decision to take on Unam Dikano, whether to release him or to put him in jail again. Unam Dikano, who have been on amended seven count charges against him, treasonable felony, terrorism, having ammunitions in his, uh, in his power, and doing having calling Mr. President an idiot. Mr. Kanu, although he's been loved by people, he has a lot of financiers, a lot of supporters, a lot of people at his back supporting him on the ground. The US are supporting him. Some countries are supporting him. He has, they have been working with Unam Dikano even before now. They have been working with him since he flew out of Nigeria. We have also established that Kano is not alone in the subversive activities, in all the activities that he has been doing. Kano reappeared in court on October 21. He pleaded not guilty to all the charges that were against him. But the court adjourned his case to October, sorry, to November 10, 2021, saying, when you come back October 20, November, 20, uh, November 10, pardon, we're going to know what we are going to do about your case. But the question now is, the fe- why is the federal government not listing out the names of the countries that are supporting IPOB? Why are they not releasing the hyper leader from detention? What is their gain? What is going on? Kindly put, down, put it down in the comment section. What do you think happened? The reason why the federal government is not listing out the names of those that are financing the hyper leader and IPOB at general. We have come to the end of the news. Thank you for tuning in. So we meet next time. God bless you. Enjoy your day.